WROI News. Your news tips are welcome at 223-6059. This is WROI News. WROI, it's time to take a look at your local news. The news today is brought to you by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. For reasonable prices, experience, and excellent customer service, call them today at 574-223-6307 or on their cell at 574-727-0005. And by your Fulton County REMC, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. Currently sitting at... 47 degrees with rain coming down here in downtown Rochester. We'll take a look at your full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. The Fulton County Commissioners met and heard from Larry Hoover of the EMA on the state and federal response to the recent flooding in the area and county. Commission President Brian Lewis was our guest on WROI and shared some of the details. The state's still running around trying to finish up some of the assessments here in the middle part of the state. They're going to be heading down to the southern part of the state. So hopefully here in a few weeks that they'll get all that done and, and hopefully we get some federal federal relief, all the flood damage right. and stuff. And we had a little over two, I think John said he turned in 200 and some thousand dollars worth of damage. Wow. So, and that's just, I think the highway department, that's not the rest of the citizens. It, it's big numbers. I, I know up north they had it a lot worse than we did and it's amazing what water will do. And again, that was Fulton County Commissioner's President Brian Lewis. Purdue agricultural expert Mark Kepler was our guest on the WROI extension program. The Chinese retaliated this week against President Trump's tariffs by imposing their own, including a 25% tariff on American pork. And we asked Kepler about the effects of that on farmers. The thing that we do in this country better than anything else is export agriculture products. We are a producer of agriculture, and that's what we do. We are the breadbasket. We can kick that stuff out of here and we can put it overseas. And and that's one of the greatest things we can do. So one thing that's been worked on over and over and over as far as China goes is getting more pork into that country. And if you go into the Asian countries, they consume a tremendous amount of pork. At least I know Vietnam does, and I assume China does the same kind of thing. In fact, in Vietnam, pork was number one. Chicken was half as much, and beef was below that. So there's a tremendous amount of pork there. So by our exporting pork over to China, that's one of our exports, and they're hitting it with a 25% tariff, which is a pretty stiff tariff. Kepler also talked about other agricultural products that escaped the tariffs this time but are still under threat. The thing that they didn't put a tariff on was soybeans, and soybeans are a big one, too, that we also export into China. And again, if they put a tariff on soybeans, we'll just go to Brazil and buy theirs instead, their soybeans, and so they can get it from there. In Vietnam, that was the situation. Those countries import a lot of soybeans. They need the protein. They need the protein in their livestock diets. They need the protein in their human diets. And also when you import soybeans, you get also oil with it, cooking oils and soybean oils. But there's a lot of protein value in soybeans, and that's what they get from that. Again, that was Purdue agricultural expert Mark Kepler. You can look for him on the first federal program this Friday at 730 here on 92.1 WROI and WROIFM.com, the first federal Facebook page and RTC Channel 5. Meanwhile, Bob White with Indiana Farm Bureau also says the tariffs are worrisome. China has a second tier that includes soybeans, corn, beef, and ethanol. If they pull that trigger, yes, we can go out and we can go to India and we can get promises there. But is it going to make up $320 million? It's very doubtful. And again, that was Bob White of Indiana Farm Bureau. More than a quarter of American pork exports to China come from Indiana, a $320 million market for Hoosier pork producers. In other news, the Indiana Department of Transportation has announced the awarding of over $161 million to rural Indiana cities, towns, and counties for roads, bridges, sidewalks, and trails. Fulton County will receive $2.2 million for two bridges over the Tip Canoe River on Old US-31 and the other on 350 East, while Winnemac will get over a million dollars for their downtown renovation Kosciuszko County will get a little over $600,000 for bridge work, and Plymouth will get $1.3 million for a footbridge. 
We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. Ulrich Heating and Cooling Rochester offers expert sales and service in northern Indiana. Call 574-223-6307 for all your heating and cooling needs. They service all brands and all types of heating and cooling systems. For new heating and cooling products, Ulrich Heating and Cooling is proud to announce they now offer Armstrong Air, designed to deliver substantial durability, comfort, and energy efficiency. Armstrong Air is the professional's choice. Licensed, insured, and bonded, that's Ulrich Heating and Cooling, locally owned and operated for over 34 years. Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed satellite internet service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds up to 12 megabytes per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option than Exceed Broadband. Share photos remarkably fast. Enjoy better video chat with less jitter. Send and receive files quickly. Exceptionally fast web browsing and email. Listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a fast Faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574 223 3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County REMC, your touchstone energy provider. And now take $50 off all new Exceed internet installs with your Fulton County REMC. Call them today. And again, we are sitting at 47 degrees under rainy conditions here in downtown Rochester. Argus is at 44. The Gris Ameriplex is at 51. We see showers and possibly a thunderstorm the rest of the afternoon. Might still get up to 57. Tonight, rain before 5 a.m., then a chance of rain and snow after that, and some thunder is also possible tonight. We have a low around 32. Tomorrow, we see a slight chance of snow, mainly before 8 a.m., then becoming mostly cloudy. We have a high near 37. We'll see a northwest wind around 20 miles per hour with some gusts up around 30 miles per hour. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy skies, a low around 25. Could still see some wind gusts up around 20 miles per hour. On Thursday, a chance of rain in the afternoon, partly sunny otherwise, a high near 44 and a low around 31. Friday, mostly cloudy, a high near 39, a low around 22. And then on Saturday, we see mostly sunny skies. We have a high near 39 and a low around 23. Again, 51 degrees. It's Grissom Aeroplex, 44, and Argus, 47 here in downtown Rochester. And this has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news today has been brought to you by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Find out how you can save on your fuel bills with the latest in heating and cooling products. And by your Fulton County REMC, home of the Exceed Broadband Connection. Fulton County REMC, your touchstone energy provider. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.